Josh, man, thanks for coming in. Hey, my pleasure. Good to see you. Look, I don't want to oversell anything, but I think I have some pretty big news. I'm all ears. Remember that show Survivor Talk we used to do back in the day? Oh, do I? Oh, my God. Remember how hard it was to pronounce token sheets? I do. Oh, I do. Crazy. Well, let me give myself a drum roll. It's back! Survivor Talk! You, me, the dream team, together again! The whole shebang! Boom ski! Um, I don't work here. What are you talking about? I, I haven't worked here since 2009. I've worked here for six years. I think I would have noticed. And I think I would remember. Do you have any uh, proof of this? I, what, do you want a W-2? Do you want to see my business card? What you... Clearly, Josh, there's been a little misunderstanding. So this is quite the pickle we find ourselves in. Josh, what do you think we do here? We? Well, I go back to my job supervising entertainment coverage over at Yahoo, which again, I want to stress, is not here. You, I don't know, why don't you call and pass survivors to have them guest host with you? Because again, and I feel like I should hit this point a little harder, I don't work here. All right, you're dismissed. You can't, I, I don't work here. You can't dis... <sighs> okay, Courtney, what makes you think you can co-host Survivor Talk with me? Who says I want to host Survivor Talk? Perfect. You're hired. Do you know what that is, Francesca? It's Francesca, and yes, it's a rock. Do you know why it's here? You want me to eat it? I want you to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. You said you would eat it. I know I said I would eat it if I was voted out first again, but I'm not going to eat it. Yes, yes, you did say that. Not eating it. Hold on one second. There, now eat it, go. That's not going to happen. So uh, what makes you think you are qualified to provide insight and commentary on this season of Survivor Cambodia Second Chance? Well, I'm in the cast. Next! Okay, Eliza, this job interview is going to consist solely of you making facial expressions you plan to use while you're co-hosting. Show me everything you got. Go. Nice. Good. I love that. It's a classic. That's the one right there. Okay, one more thing. I'm gonna hand you some parchment and a marker. I want you to sit here and look as pained as possible while deliberating over who you're gonna vote for. Yes. We could be here all day. Yes, keep it going. Mm -mm. Spectacular, you're in. So, what makes you think you're qualified? Well, I blog about the show. As do I. I went on location as a member of the press. As have I. Okay, I hosted Survivor Live for CBS.com. As did I. I won the show. As I am. Wait, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What was that? I said, I <laughs> All right, you're hired. Of course I'm hired. And you know what? I'm going to do today's episode, and I want your chair. This is my chair. It's my office. Ross, I don't care. Give me your chair. Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's see what Vetus has to say. That's my line. All right, Vetus, thanks for joining us. Vetus? Um, All right, can you sit down, please? Oh, no, okay. there we go. Much better. Okay. Much better. He just wanted to show off his idol one more time. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got to, got to get my underwear one last screen screen time. Uh, thanks for joining us, Venus. Look, your, uh, your, your, the strategic game may have not worked out, but your underwear game was on point this season, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, at least I can have one small victory in the U.S. No, no, no. It's a big victory. It's a big victory. It's a big victory. It's not small. And let's get this straight. These are the underwear that you're wearing right now are your game day underwear. Yep, game day underwear. You know, uh, yes, I have washed them. Don't worry. They you know, have been in the washing machine since Cambodia. Well, no fan's going to bid on those now. Yeah, maybe, hey, maybe I should sell them on eBay or something. <laughs> uh, Vetus, look, uh, we heard your final words last night after you were voted off. You said, hey, man, uh, I'd said before the game I'd rather almost not make the cast than be voted off first. Do you f still feel that way? Uh, I do still feel that way a little bit. It's, uh, it's a lot to get out there. You know, it's... Um, it's a lot of my life. There's, you know, we had an eight, nine day journey through Cambodia just to get to the island. And then after you get voted out, you can't go home. And, you know, I had a young son at home that was waiting for me. It's, it's tough to, to be out there just waiting to leave after being on the island for only three days. So, you know, it, 
had I known it was going to be a first boot, yes, I would have chosen not to go out there. What do you think it was? Do you think it really was you being all over the ladies and doing your Vetus yoga, or was it pre-relationships and issues coming back with the ter- re- returning players? That's a good question. I, you know, I, don't, I wasn't all over the ladies. I wasn't doing a ton of yoga. You know, that just happened to be a big part of the episode they showed. You know, I went from cool yoga instructor to creepy yoga instructor in about 30 seconds last night. And uh, it was three days of being on the beach. And I, you know, I showed Shireen some yoga moves. And I, I don't think that was my downfall. Shireen was putting my name out there within about 30 minutes of hitting the beach. And, um, you know, she had her trauma with male authority figures on her season and in her family. And I think that, you know, she just wanted to hit the beach and figure out, all right, who are the guys that are in charge and I want to get them out. And um, she, she looked at me and Terry and figured that I was the one that she wanted to go for. And uh, she rallied a bunch of people around us. And um, I, I think it's uh, a little bit too much of a long game to get rid of big threats that early, but they did it. And kudos to them for getting out a big threat early on. All right, Vetus, uh, Kelly Wentworth accused you of performing unsexy yoga and those are fighting words, my friend. Unsexy yoga? This yeah, is this I mean, is your yeah. life. I, maybe she's just jealous that she can't do yoga. You know, like I, you know, she's a little bit of a gym rat. She's really into weights, bro. And her little, you know, I don't know what she's going got going on with her fitness routine. I mean, she's a fit girl, but maybe she's just jealous that I wasn't helping her with her yoga. So you know, I don't know what it really really was. I, you know, I thought that Kelly and I had some cool conversations out there. You know, I knew that she wasn't with me and uh, I wasn't surprised that she put my name down, but um, it's tough to hear it sometimes when people say those things that, you know, when there are solo interviews about you, but uh, it's what it is. It's what we sign up for. What do you think their issues were with you? You know, we hear Shireen calling you smarmy and we referenced the Kelly Wentworth thing. What do you think it was? And, you know, I'm not sure. Like, I, I definitely wasn't out there flirting with people. Um, I was out there trying to work on the shelter and try to solidify a an alliance with players that wanted to play an old school game. Um, and I don't think, I really don't think that anything that I did on my first season, Blood versus Water, like was something I was doing out here this time. I, um, you know, I, uh, I was with Terry a lot. We we're having a lot of bro time. I, you know, I was trying to connect with Wigglesworth. We would do yoga together in the morning. And other than that, just like trying to solidify other people that I thought were in my alliance, whether it was Wu or Jeff Varner or even Spencer, who I thought was with me. You know, I, I didn't really talk to Shireen or Kelly Wentworth or that much. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't really know like why they thought that about me, but they did. So I guess I have to look at that because you know, I mean, those were opinions that were created. So I don't know if those were things they thought about me going into the game based on what they saw the first season, or if those were opinions that were formed based on how I behaved out there. Why were you trying to go old school? Because you were a new school guy. Was it- I think that the old school game is an easier game to play. You know, you, you look at the new school game. Alliance, all, alliances are changing so much. People are flipping and flopping and backstabbing, and threats are getting kicked out really, really early on. You know, the old school game is let's get the numbers. And let's just ride it to the end. And that is a game that is nice to play. You don't have to worry that much. Uh, it's all about just keeping people together and your unit. And, of course, there's going to be tribe swaps and stuff. But, you know, I, I think the old school game is just it's, it's an it easier game to play and it's an easier path to the end. You know, especially for somebody like me who maybe doesn't have the best history on the show as far as, like, you know, not being perceived as a threat. So that's those are the people I wanted to get with, you know. Um, and... The old school players got definitely ousted by the people that were new school and not necessarily by the previous season, but by how they wanted to play. You know, we were building the shelter. We were trying to get stuff done around camp. The people who weren't with us were going on talks, strategy talks all the time, talking, talking, talking. And, you know, it's tough to see that. And I tried to be a part of that somewhat, but um, I didn't want to be scrambling. My plan was to just lay low. Vitas, there was a big moment at Tribal Council they did not show in the episode where right before the vote, Jeff Varner turned over to Kelly Wiggles, excuse me, Kelly Wentworth and PG and said, hey, are you guys still leaning the way you told me in the water? Kelly Wentworth says, yes. Terry freaks out and goes, Varner, what's going on? Varner says nothing. What are you thinking at that point when that all went down? If Arnold was the scariest person for me as far as like the read I was getting out there, like I, you know, we hadn't talked at all in the pregame. You know, Terry had talked to him and I was close with Terry and Terry was like, no, man, Varner's good. And same thing with Kelly Wigglesworth. After we do yoga, we talk and, she, you know, she said, no, you know what? Varner's good. Varner's with us. And, and I kind of just trusted other people on that one because what I saw was that Varner wasn't with us. Varner was going and talking to every other person. Varner seemed to be spending more time with the people that weren't in our lives. And so I went into tribal council just kind of wondering, 
is Varner with us or not? Um, I didn't think it was going to be so divided. I thought he'd be with us, and I thought more people would be wanting to rally behind getting Abby out. But um, I guess she wasn't. She just wasn't annoying enough. Yeah. <laughs> I don't if know only, how that's if possible. Only, <laughs> <laughs> if only there were some more bracelets missing. No, I mean that's Tyson gave me some great advice. I remember when we were talking, he's like, "Dude, if you ever find yourself at the bottom, and people are gunning for you. Do do crazy stuff. Put put things in other people's bags. Like you know, make other people out to be scare people. Like start to ignite fear around you know other players. And when I saw that happening, I was like, man, I, I should maybe do some of that. I should start putting some of Abby stuff in other people's bags. And you know, maybe I should have." Make her even crazier. Yeah, Pete did it back on her first season, so it was echoes of that. Did you do any idol hunting? I did a little bit, you know, like when I would, um, when I would go to get palm fronds for the shelter or go look for coconuts, of course I would look around and see, like, oh, where I think the idol might be. Um, I didn't know that, you know, Wentworth had found it within, like, the first hour of hitting the beach, but um, I had no idea that the twist was going to be like that, you know. Congrats, Dalton, on getting your idea into the show. Oh. You know, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, and I'm excited to see how that plays out. Like, you know, who, how are people going to find out about it? How is the word going to get out? Is it going to get out? Is ever going to? Is people at the merge all going to know that it's in challenges, or is it going to be before the merge or after the merge? Or will everybody know at some point, or will nobody know? Who knows? I have a I have a question about once you return to home, Vetus, because you played with your brother, RS. RS won his first season. And he played with Terry. And then you said this last night. You said, I will never be able to live it down, Terry, if you beat me. And that happened. And I know you have this brotherly rivalry. How's it been since you got home? Well, I guess if you look at like, what happened with me and Terry, like, yes, Terry last, everybody lasted longer than me this season, but including Terry. But we were together. You know, we, we never, you know, we never kind of butted heads. We never competed really against each other. And I cherish getting to play with Terry. He's a really sweet guy. And Aris was really sweet when I came home. You know, I, I we, we were allowed to tell, like, you know, our family what happens. And when I told Aris what happened, he was really, he was really under Standing. He knows how much Survivor means to me, and he was one of the first people that was like really, you know, he gave me a big hug and was like, man, that sucks. And he, he understands how tough it is to go out there and be the first one out. So, well, uh, Vetus, last time you played, uh, you, had, you had probably in your head a clear path to the end. You and Oris felt pretty good about how you're doing, then the rug was pulled out from underneath you. This time, you're the first one out. Which hurts more? Uh, this one hurts more for sure. You know, when I went out to uh, the Philippines for blood versus water, you know, I, I thought I played a pretty good game before the merge. The merge happened and we made some mistakes. We got asked but I had a great time. I had a great experience. I really felt like I got to play the game. I got a bunch of different, you know, um, twists that happened to me during that game. And I, I felt I got the survivor experience. This time, I don't really think I got the survivor experience. I mean, I did for a first boot and there's been how many first boots before me? There's been 30 before for me so you know i'm not that unique in the sense that i didn't really get to play that much but it sucks i think any other first boot will tell you that it's disappointing you know we do a lot to you know set up our lives to leave for two months and the game means a lot to me and it's you know yeah it's a bummer it would be easy to say oh it's whatever i'm all good with it now but it's still sad to know that that was my second chance and i love survivor i wish i could have got to play longer so this one definitely hurts a little bit more well you can always call the francesca Ho hoagie first boot support hotline if you need any help uh yeah. talking talking you through that and what have you. Well, look, Vitas, I talked to everyone the day before the game began, and they all, a lot of them said they were worried about you. You're a sneaky dude. You kind of knew that a lot of people were going to think that about you, uh, and unfortunately, that probably was your undoing. Nice try, though. Look, we'll see you at the finale, the reading, and all that stuff. Thanks a lot for calling in and showing us your underwear. All right. Thanks. Love you, you Vitas. You're still uh, my favorite yoga teacher. <laughs> oh, thanks, Barb. <laughs> you guys have a great day. All right, you too, okay, Vitas. Thanks. Bye. So, want to do some yoga? Get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah.